So the other day, I happened to catch a Reese Witherspoon short, and she was excited because they are announcing their 100th book in her book club this month. So I was like, 100 books? She's been doing this for 100 books worth? Wow. And I haven't really paid attention to what's on her book list. I remember back in the day, I was very into Oprah's book list, but I haven't really paid attention to Reese's book list. So I thought I would jump on the computer and see what all those 100 books are. And I thought maybe you would like to come along with me. The thing is, is I know I'm not going to have read most of them. They're, most of them are out of my awareness zone. I think some of them probably are on the Goodreads Choice Awards list, which as we know, I rarely actually end up reading any of those books on that list. Um, some of them are probably book of the month books, which I don't do, so I don't see what those ones are either. I see, I get my hands on some of them after the fact sometimes. Um, but still, if I give this disclaimer that I don't expect to have read any of these books and we're just looking at them to see what they are, then hopefully maybe you want to know what they are too and you want to come along with me and just, just to scroll and see. On the computer, I've just pulled up the list of the, with just the, their covers and I scrolled to the bottom. And so the very first choice was in May of 2017, I guess. Um, and they chose Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine, which is a book I have been intrigued by and would like to read someday. We're going to kind of go backwards here, right? The Alice Network by Kate Quinn. The Lion Game by Ruth Ware. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I, this is one we read for our book club a while back, and I really enjoyed it. And I've read several of her other ones, she, and I'm, she's one of my favorite authors now. We scroll up here, The Rules of Magic by Alice Hoffman. I don't know anything about that, but that is an intriguing cover. This is The Story of a Happy Marriage by Anne Patchett. She is always an intriguing author for me too, so I bet you I would be intrigued by this one. The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine. I forgot to say that I guess Reese Witherspoon's um, idea about picking books for her book club is that they're women authors about women characters, strong women characters, I guess. she. This is what she said on her little short that I saw, which I didn't really realize that that was a on-purpose thing for her book club. So just in case you didn't know that, there's that. Braving the Wilderness by Brenny Brown. The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo. Erotic Stories for Punjabi Widows. That sounds interesting. The Crooked Little Road to Semi-Ever After Happiness by Heather Harfin. Harfin? Harfin. I can't really read that, that author. You Think It, I'll Say It by Curtis Settenfield. Something in the Water by Catherine Stedman. Next Year in Havana by Chanel Cleeton. Still Lives by Maria Hummel. Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This one I have and is on my list and it was actually a possibility for our book club, but I actually saw the movie before I read the book and now I don't know if I'm really that interested in the book, but it would be interesting to compare the two, I guess, still. This is How It Always Is by Laurie Frankel, The Other Woman by Sandy Jones, One Day in December by Josie Silver, The Library Book by Susan Orlin. All these sound really good. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't read more of them. The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have read this one. I did like it much, much better than Carrie Soto is back. We read it for book club a few years ago, probably around this 19 or 20. The Night Tiger by Yangxi, Yangxi, Yangxi Chu. I have this one in my Kindle and I hope to read it. Maybe I'll read it for Asian month. From Scratch by Tembi Locke. The Cactus by Sarah Haywood. This one looks fun to me. Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. The Secrets We Kept by Laura Prescott. Fair Play by Eve Wildsky. The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. This one I have read. Herba Club. 
It was really good. Uh, Conviction by Denise Mina. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. The Scent Keeper by Erica Bar Barmeister. This is like a test of me and my author pronunciation skills instead of just looking and seeing what these books are. The Jet Setters by Amanda Airward. Amanda Airward. Untamed by Glennon Doyle. These covers are so cool, some of them. The Henna Artist by Alec Joshi. The Guest List by Lucy Folly. I have this one on my shelf just right over there. Maybe I'll read it someday. I'm Still Here. Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. Everything Inside Ed, by Edwidge uh, Cat. You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I have that one right over there. I didn't realize that that was a Reese's um, Book Club book. When I picked it up, it must not have the sticker on the front. The Last Story of Mina Lee by Nancy Ju Yun Kim. She must be Korean. So I could read that one for Asian month also. When we, you know, consolidate down all the Asian books I would like to read into one month, it's kind of overwhelming because I want to read so many of them. Furia by Jamale Sayed Mendez. She is a local author, just lives in the other city over there. And I have read this book and several others of hers, and they are all amazing. She came to my house once. Did I tell you this story? It's part of my Marcus Lusak stories. So I will save it for later, but remind me. I will tell you the story about when Jamelet came to my house. His Only Wife by Peace Ad Adzo Medi. Peace Adzo Medi. These, <laughs> these authors. <laughs> Fable by Adrian Young. That one looks good. I love that she started sticking YAs in here. I love that. Group. How One Therapist and a Circle of Strangers Saved My Life by Christy Tate. I'm guessing that it, these don't all have to be fiction because I feel like there's a few non-fictions in here. A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow by Laura Taylor Namey. I have read this one. That one's a fun one. It makes me want to. There was a lot of food in that one. I needed to eat. I wanted to eat after that. The Chicken Sisters, KG, KJ Del Antonia, The Light in Hidden Places, Ooh, Sharon Cameron, Outlawed by Anna North, You Have a Match by Emma Lorge. I've read that one. A lot of these books I read for an award thing that I was doing, not the one I'm doing now, but a different one for the library. San Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. A splendid gothic thriller. Hmm. Oh, that would be fun. Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully. Bully. Northern Spy by Flynn Berry. The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. We did this one for book club just last year. Tokyo Ever After by Emma Jean. This one I've had in my hands, but then I put back take took that to the library. Really do want to read that one. Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. These ones sound so intriguing. The Downstairs Girl by Stacy Me. Me Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. L.A. Weather. L.A. Weather? There's not much to L.A. Weather. It's just sunny. And sometimes a little rainy and sometimes a little foggy. Maria M. Perio Escondon. Is that, is that a, no, it's not a YA one, huh? Sankofa? Sankofa? By Chigundo Onuzu. Within These Wicked Walls by Lauren Blackwood. The Island of Missing Trees by Elif Shafak. Shafak? Lucky by Marissa Stapley. Honor by... Uh, I can't say that one. Um, three T, three T um, umrigar, three T umrigar. Anatomy: A Love Story by Dana Smarts. 
The Christie Affair by Nina D. Grummet. There's another page where it kind of says what these are about. And I was looking at those first. So now I have nothing to go on except the covers and the titles, if they give you any clue. But they do all sound really intriguing. And I bet you many of you have read them and you're probably screaming and saying, you should read that one. So tell me in comments which ones you think I should read because you know the kind of stuff I like now, right? The Club, a novel by Ellery Lloyd. True Biz, Sarah Novak. The Dictionary of Lost Words, ooh, Pip Williams. Counterfeit by Kristen Chen. Honey and Spice by Bol Babalola. That's a fun one to say. <sighs> to taste the best when together. Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. This was on our list last year for book club, and I did not read it. Why? Because I wasn't going to be there for book club and I let Tori host book club in my place and then I didn't quite get to it. And then I wasn't motivated because I wasn't going to be there. I hear that it has a crazy ending, so I need to read it. On the Rooftop by Margaret Wilkins Wilkerson Sexton. Our Missing Hearts by Celeste. Mm, I, uh, there's two by her now. Is that She's the only one that's gotten two on here, I think. Hmm, interesting. Tiny Beautiful Things by Cheryl Strayed. The Marriage Portrait by Maggie O'Farrell. The House in the Pines by Anna Reese. Anna Rice. Rice? Race? The House of Eve by Sadiqua Johnson. This was on our list this year, was it not? And we didn't vote it in, I don't think. Chris and Hannah, The Nightingale. I have that one on my... Did I have that one on my shelf? I don't remember now. Romantic Comedy by Curtis Settenfield. That's the same author as before. So now we're starting to double up on some authors, I'm thinking. Yeah. Did You Hear About Kitty Carr by Crystal Smith Paul. Cassandra in Reverse by Holly Small. Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. I need to read this one. Tom Lake by Ann Patchett. This is the book that Lauren Graham suggested that book clubbers read uh, when I went to her little event the other day. This was the one she suggested. So now that one is in my radar and I really want to read it. The way she described it is exactly the kind of stuff I love. Mother Daughter Murder Night, Nice by Nina Nina Simon. Starling House by Alex E. Harrell. Maybe Next Time by Seska Major. Before We Were Innocent by Ella Berman. First Sly Wins by Ashley Elston. This one was on our list too. Did it make it? I don't think so. My book club people are much more aware of it books than I am. So then they can grab what everybody's talking about and stick them on the list. <laughs> but this one did not make it. I will be putting a video up about what made it for our book club list. Uh, I probably it will be up by the time you see this one. And um, then we have Redwood Court by Delana R.A. Dameron. That was February's pick. Are these two in March, April? Anita DeMonte Laughs Last by Jochil, Jochil Gonzalez? Or is it Co, Cochil, Cochitil, Cochitil? Oh, I'm so bad with this pronunciation. And then The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo. So were these the ones, more recent ones? Because February was a couple months ago. I don't know. Anyway, so I've only read like what five? I've only read like five of those books, and most of them were the YA ones. Yeah, so maybe I've written more like a six. Anyway, I just wanted to look through them to see what they were because she talked about how they have had 100 books, and I was like, what are all those 100 books? And so there you go. If you're like me and you're not aware of them, there you go. And if you're more up on the buzzy books, then you've probably read most of these. And so I want you to tell me which ones you think I should bump to the top of my list because you know which ones I like now, right? You know me well enough, so let me know. Let me know. Until next time, bye.